Good day, guys. I uh, was just uh, letting you know on some news. Um, it was actually in our last magazine. Let me just pull it out. Just broke my knob. The, door, the knob on my door. In the latest Vex magazine, there should be a new one coming out. I should have actually checked it before I made a video. Um, it's just about the actual, and it's in here. I just had it. The V8 supercars going overseas. Um, it's going overseas. It's going to cost Australia's racing with the V8 supercars because there will be a lot less V8 racing in Australia. They're going elsewhere. What do you think about that? I don't like it. I don't want us to become a Formula One, for, like a Formula One family. It's where V8 supercars. So keep it in Australia, extend the championship, Tony Cochran. Do not cancel any Australia events. Telstra 500, Bathurst, uh, Clipsal, uh, Phillip Island, and Simmons Plains, anything like that that's been in our system for a while. I know, um, you know, Telstra 500 hasn't been for sale for a long, for a while. It's only been there for about three, it'll be three years this year. Don't get rid of them. These events are so important to this area. It brings in so much money for this area, or for that the areas that it goes to. Do not get rid of them. It's unfair. Uh, we don't want another Formula One type of racing system. You because you'll end up like the British Grand Pro, uh, the British V8 Supercar Series, or the, their British Touring Car System. We won't be V8. It'll be BMW. It'll be things like that. Uh, no, no, it's not going. Um, Perth is coming up, four days away. Um, count Garth Tander into your equation when you're polling because he will be very effective there. Um, he's won quite a few rounds there. Um, I don't know about Jamie or Craig. Um, I'd say they will be in the points. I don't know how strong they'll be. Let's hope I get proven wrong and I'll have to reassess my championship and what who I think will win the championship if they go well this weekend. Um, no news exactly straight from Team Vodafone. They are on a break. I know their truck driver had, was over the Easter break heading to Perth. So the VAB, Craig and Jamie and the rest of the guys must be flying over sometime during this week, probably Thursday or you know, probably Wednesday. So, um, I don't want to drag on too long. YouTube didn't let me upload the last one because it was too long. Uh, it went for about 13 minutes. I'll cut it down to about four. Um, yeah, basically, get ready. Make sure you've got everything right. Make sure your tipping is correct. Um, still probably put your team Vodafones in the top 10 um, or at least in the top half of the tree I don't I don't think that they'll be there um, but they do come out of the box out of the truck strong very strong so let's wait and see I'm probably going to be wrong for the weekend so let's see if I'm wrong you guys have a great great night I'll be back in the morning probably posting another video or I may post this video in the morning which means I'll probably post one later in the afternoon, depending on when I feel like posting this one. But as I said, we don't want Tony Cochran sending V8 supercars overseas and getting rid of the events in Australia. We need them here because not everyone in Australia is going to fly overseas just to see V8 supercars. Um, later video tomorrow, I'm going to talk about James Courtney and his interview with um, Neil Crompton and what all my reads on it were. Okay, you have a great night. And I'd like to see some commenting on this on this video, please. Alright, see you later.